grass went flying at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Trees taking down power lines in Livingston County. And the excessive heat warning as we head into the weekend. This severe weather is being fueled by dangerous heat that's nearing triple digits. We have Team 7 coverage of the storm damage, injuries, and power outages. Starting with 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell live tonight in Ann Arbor. Alan? Well, Dave, just take a look behind me. You can see some people still cleaning up after that storm blew through here, but just take a look at what's left of this tent here. Nothing left except for just that crumbled frame. But I want to show you this over here. Take a look at this tent right over here. You can see a whole bunch of debris all over the ground here. A lot of different merchandise, including some clothes. There's a lot of glass along here as well. Some people describing the storm as it blew through here like a wind tunnel. Take a listen. I was selling and the next thing my uh, neighbors came in and says, there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. The storms came in fierce and fast at the Ann Arbor Art Fair. And all of a sudden the wind just bam just hit. These are pictures sent to us by Channel 7 viewers of the aftermath. Tents crumbled, one person seen on a stretcher and being treated by paramedics. There was stuff flying everywhere, trash flying, things flying, people running every which way. Tents with artwork and crafts flying through the air as strong storms pounded people and the merchants. My two neighbors are gone uh, and the three across from me are gone. Some describing the scene as chaos, people scrambling to save whatever they could. Some people were injured and were told one woman got her foot crushed. Uh, all I know is the ambulance came and there was a 75 pound weight that crushed uh, a lady's foot. I spoke to one artist out here. She lost her tent and some of her inventory it says probably around $5,000 or so. She plans on packing up and leaving tomorrow. However, we're told that this art fair will continue tomorrow. But again, a lot of damage out here, a lot of cleaning up to do. But for now, we're going to send things over to 7 Action News reporter Jen Sean. She's in Brighton and taking a look at the damage there. Jen. Yeah, Alan, we're dealing with a lot of down power wires here in Brighton right now. We're at State and 4th, where you can see right behind me, crews have cordoned off this area. They're dealing with a downed wire right behind me here. And take a look at this neighborhood. It's totally in the dark because people who live here are all without power. We spoke to folks. They tell us it went out around 8 o'clock, and I'm told that throughout Southeast Michigan, 320 down power lines right now. Um, DTE crews are working to restore. We spoke to one couple who had a live wire go down near their backyard and it actually started a fire. Take a listen. Uh, it's actually in, I think, our neighbor's backyard from the pole. I think a transformer blew and the line came down along the fence line. There was smoke, there was flames, there was sparking. Arcing, we saw some flames near our shed. Um, and then it was a loud crack and then nothing. So there was a lot of smoke and then the fire just kind of went down. Again, here is a live look at a downed wire. We are near 4th Street and State in Brighton. This is one of many that crews are working to restore. And yesterday we spoke to DTE and they told us they anticipated these outages due to that excessive heat. And of course, those severe thunderstorms rolling in throughout Southeast Michigan tonight. If you have a downed wire to report, you can do so via the DTE mobile app. All of that information is on our website. WXYZ.com live in Brighton tonight. Jen Sean, 7 Action News. Dave Carolyn. Jen, thank you for the live report. Scary stuff there. Our 7 uh, team coverage continues now with 7 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexra. So, Dave, are we in for more storms overnight? Uh, overnight, not so much, but tomorrow again in the afternoon, evening hours, we could have a repeat. This is what happened today. We'll show you one more time. It started first in Washington, Wayne County. The first eruption there about one o'clock or so did some damage, hit some problems. Second batch came from the northwestern suburbs moving to the south, and that had issues as well with wind and storms. The last little bits and pieces here did flare up a little bit now by Lansing, uh, but that's fizzling out. So we're looking to the northwest, and there are strong storms as a line of severe weather coming out of Wisconsin. And this started in Minneapolis earlier this afternoon. Now it's coming out over Lake Michigan. There's actually a severe thunderstorm watch into the Saginaw Valley till 6 a.m. So if that holds together, which is a possibility, not very likely, but a possibility, we could see some leftovers, if you will, here on the north side of town uh, somewhere around early to mid morning as that goes along. Not going to be a huge problem at that point, but we could rekindle it again tomorrow in the afternoon, and those storms could be severe. In the meantime, all this heat still sticks around for one more day. We'll look at the heat indices and when it finally breaks coming up. All right, Dave, thanks. Right now, DTE tells us there are 72,000 customers without power. The hardest hit areas are in Washtenaw County and in Livingston County. DTE warns to stay at least 20 feet from down power lines. Do not cross yellow caution tape they've put in place. And of course, never operate a generator inside your home. 
Count on Action News on air on the 7 app and WXYZ.com for continuing coverage of the weekend heat wave. Our morning team will have the latest up, uh, updates for you beginning at 6 a.m.